Well, hello friends and welcome back to our channel. I'm Renee and today is a baking day. My market stand was wiped out this weekend. I have maybe, uh, you know, five dozen eggs and a loaf of bread in there. So I've got to make everything and get it stocked up again. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I make for my market stand and some of the things that sell beautifully. So today, the first thing I'm going to show you is a cheesecake pie. Love it. This is really, really easy. Let me get you down here. You just got to get, you know, you can make your own crust if you want. But I cheat and I buy the pre-made pie crust. Okay? I'm going to get sitting there. I've got, in my bowl, I've got two 8-ounce packs of cream cheese. And it's softened. And to that, I am going to add one half cup of sugar. Yep, right there. I'm going to set these aside so I'll be using them. One half cup of sugar. A little bit on the counter. And one half teaspoon of vanilla. And two eggs, but I'm going to add the eggs after I get this mixed up. Are you waiting to do something? What you want to do? Eh, just watch them. Oh, you just want to watch? Okay, we're going to mix this all up in here. And this is already soft. in here. In the sink. Two, I got large eggs too. These are my farm fresh eggs. All right. Get that You're going to have a wild wait to taste test. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> but this one is for you and Pat. It's mixed up really good. All right. Want the beaters? Go, <laughs> my dear. Thank you. Right, that's what you were waiting for. Yep. <laughs> okay, we got this all mixed up. <laughs> Beautiful, she's still laughing. We're going to pour this in our pie pan. And just so you know, if you buy a pre-made um, pie shell, you know the graham cracker, you want a six ounce one. I mean, if you want to do the big one, you'd probably have to double your batch, but otherwise it's a six ounce. All right, this is how simple this is, okay? Now, this is going to go in a 325 degree oven for about 40 minutes, and that really depends on your oven, but my oven is 40 minutes. So we're going to put this in there, and we'll see you back here when it's done. Well, I'm continuing on with my baking day. Today I am stocking my pantry, and of course I've got a popcorn machine, and I sell lots of popcorn and snacks. And, you know, today was the big baking day for me. I've got three sheet pans of brownies to make. One was an order. I did some um, refrigerator pies, freezer pies. 
I showed you the cheesecake pie that I made. So now let's make some popcorn. I got kids waiting for it anyway. So we're going to turn it on. We're going to warm that up for just a few minutes. And I always keep my little recipe up here, even though I, I know it. But uh, this, this is uh, perfect for this. And I know some people like their popcorn salty, but I sell a lot of it with a little less salt. So I only put like a third tablespoon of my salt in there. But I've got one cup of popcorn, a third tablespoon of salt, and one third cup of oil. If you have a machine like this, that's a perfect recipe. salt is right here. So I put just a little bit. I put a little bit of my salt in there. Close that door. Let it heat up. And then when I get ready, I put my popcorn. And the kids love this. Absolutely. Why do you have the biggest bowl ever? I have a big bowl because it is big. big. Yep, I put all my popcorn in there and then package it. Are you waiting for popcorn? That's good and warm. Okay. Look at my face. It's a glowing machine. Look at my face in the This is one whole Look cup of popcorn. Now, we're going to close the door. In a few minutes, we'll have popcorn. <laughs> and of course, when I make it, I've got kids waiting for it. So, this I love this machine. I bought this for my daughter for, oh, I think a hundred bucks I got it from her. And it's only about a year old, and she paid a lot more than that for it. So I got a really good deal. There it comes, friends. This popcorn does beautiful. You can see that, okay? Because it's just like almost like a microwave. When it starts slowing down with the popping, then it's pretty much done. I love that little trap door in the bottom that um, collects the seeds. That way you're not you're not given a half a bag of seeds, you know. I love it. 
So this works good, and this is how I do this. I just open this up, open this part up, and I just fill my bowl, and then we make more. I make about six or seven batches of this from my market stand, so. And my neighbor come by and she said, I am so glad you got all them goodies and snacks. She says, I got up late last night. She said, I want so I wanted some snacks and I didn't have anything. She says, and I remembered, oh, she's got them all across the street. So she come and got a bunch of stuff from the market stand. Okay, so there we go. Time to do another load. Give the kids some of this. Look at all that beautiful popcorn it made. Okay, friends, I just pulled this out of the oven. In fact, I just shut my oven off. This is screaming hot, but look how beautiful it turns out. Now, when this is cool, when it sets up and it's cool, um, you can use like pie filling, like cherry pie filling, blueberry, you know, whatever you want to use for pie filling. If you want fruit on this, I, because this is for my granddaughter, my husband, I'm not going to sell this one. I am going to do some fresh strawberries on this because that's their favorite. Listen, you want an easy pie to make? If you have to go to a potluck or you got company coming, this is wonderful because it is a three ingredient lemon icebox pie. Easy as can be. Now, I'm only doing three ingredients because I have a pie shell, already made pie shell. I cheated. Why not? We can do that. And I'm using um, bottled lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon juice if you'd like and throw some of the zest in there if you want. Absolutely. But this is for quick, fast, and in a hurry. And this is how we do it. Okay, friends. You've got sweetened condensed milk, lemon juice, and a ready-made pie crust. You've got a delightful dessert. Okay? You're going to use two cans of this sweetened condensed milk for this pie. And it is wonderful. So we're going to pour that in there. This stuff is, you can almost eat this stuff with a spoon anyway. I love this stuff. Okay, we're not going to waste any out of that. The other one. These sell like crazy in my little market stand. Easy fast pies. Okay, see that? That's all in there. Okay, so now you're gonna see the magic. Oh, I almost dumped it. You're gonna see the magic start happening. We're just gonna start pouring this in here. And this is gonna get beautiful and it's gonna start to thicken up because the acid in the juice, in the lemon juice, reacts with the dairy. So we're gonna pour all the rest of that in there. And it smells wonderful. I love lemon, lemon anything. And it'll get nice and creamy and beautiful. Now make sure it's sweetened condensed milk. You don't want the, the uh, evaporated milk. You want sweetened condensed milk. Look at how beautiful that is. And creamy that gets. It gets like the consistency of pudding. Beautiful, hey? I want it mixed up really good. Okay. Now... I need my 
use this one. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna pour this right into our pie shell. And my counter is crooked, you can tell. And that's all I'm gonna put in there. I got a little bit left, but my granddaughter will eat that. Anyway, that's all there is to it. We are gonna take this. I'm gonna take the little plastic lid that I got for it, put the lid back on it, Put this in the refrigerator until it sets up. I like to leave it in there for at least four hours. And then when it's all set up, you'll have a divine dessert. Okay, friends. I spent all day yesterday baking. And you can see my shelves in here. I got them stocked with the bread. I did four loaves of white bread, four loaves of wheat bread, four loaves of cinnamon pull-apart bread. And I got my big tub of popcorn. And over there, you'll see I've got snacks and um, croutons. And then in my fridge, friends, I've got stocked with my brownies. I put two sheet pans in there, so it's like uh, 32 brownies. I had four pies in here. I've got one left right there, and I got a bunch of eggs in here. And I even keep stuff, let me show you this, I keep breads in my freezer, rolls, I had, this was full, and they buy it right out of the freezer too. So there you go friends, that's a big baking day that I had, I usually do that on Mondays, every Monday, because I get wiped out on the weekends. But thanks for hanging out with me, you all have a good night, and I'll see you next time.